Is professional bass fishing a sport or a hobby? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family. And thank you. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new members, all the people who comment constantly, all the people who give insight, who are interactive on the channel. I so appreciate it. It is so humbling and it's so, it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. So I really do appreciate everyone who is part of this team. But if you're not one, you should be because it's free. So click that button and become part of the team and family. How do we make professional bass fishing a sport? Because to me, it kind of seems like a hobby right now. Now, I'm going to just give you my opinion on what I see as an outsider. But please note, I think that there's an opportunity to make it a sport. But we're so far behind on a lot of things that it just seems like a high stakes gambling hobby. And while I know a lot of anglers stay in mental and physically good shape to make sure it is easier to go fishing and stay on top of the game, it still doesn't mean it isn't a hobby more than a sport. I think to make it a sport, we need to have non-endemic sponsors. We need the industry to not be where most of the sponsorships happen from. We need other areas, other people, other businesses like Amazon or Walmart or someone that's not endemic that isn't inside the circle. We need someone outside to step up and to see what is happening within professional bass fishing to make boost it and make it a sport. But even then, it could be just a niche sport. And I'm not trying to put shade on anyone, but these days there's a lot of older anglers that stick with the hobby for so long that unfortunately they do hurt what's going on in the industry. These aren't anglers that are really competing, but they fall in that lower to middle range. And those, those anglers are constantly getting the sponsorships, doing the things that doesn't allow younger anglers to come into the sport as easy. And I believe all of the organizations should cut their fields. That doesn't mean they can't fish the Opens and the Invitationals and the other Toyota Series, the BFLs, all those other ones. Those are all right. But to have so many anglers trying to compete to get to the highest level, and we have a bunch of anglers that don't really, no offense, are not competing week after week or tournament after tournament, and they just bring the level of competition down. And they also bring the question of sport and hobby. Are these guys just doing it because they want to be in the hobby? And I do believe bass fishing is a hobby. And here's why. I think a lot of people believe that bass fishing is like gambling. That it's a high stakes poker game. I use poker in the same sense of bass fishing. To play poker at the highest level, you pay to play. You pay to get into tournaments. That's the same thing that happens in bass fishing. You pay to get into the bass fishing tournaments. But is poker a sport or a hobby? I think most people would say poker is a hobby. And when you use that analogy, you'd have to say bass fishing is the same thing. My reasoning behind this is if you really dive into professional sports, they don't pay to play. Professional sports also have training and OTAs and mini camps and games that are probably six to eight months of their year. And during the other months, there's those training times and there isn't a lot of off time for them. Whereas bass fishing has one tournament probably every month and they get three weeks off. Now they do work and do work for their sponsors and other things, but when it comes time tournament time, you're not seeing a lot of tournaments consecutive weeks in a row. And I do realize they have to drive all over, so it would make it hard. But if you have one tournament a month, that's, let's just say four to seven days. You have three days of practice, you have some travel time, and you have days afterwards that you have to recoup and you have to get back into normal or, and, and get healthy again. And I'm not saying professional bass fishing isn't mental or physical because you need to be able to think on your feet. You need to be able to know where you're going and do the research. So mentally, you're always constantly thinking what lures to use, what this and that. I'm not saying anything about that. And physically, to stand on your feet for three or four days in a row and then your practice time, it's very strenuous as a physical, a physical hobby. I almost said sport there. But 
then you have several weeks generally afterwards where you're not in tournament mode. Whereas you go to the NBA and they have mini cap and they have OTAs or they have all this stuff and they have training camp and then they start playing for four or five or six months. And they might get three or four weeks off and then they're back at it. A real sport is year around. And I'm not saying that the bass anglers, professional bass anglers aren't working year round, but to be in tournament mode versus at home mode, where you're calling and working with sponsors and doing all that other stuff, or doing podcasts, or getting your name, or building your brand, that's different than when you're in tournament mode. And again, I think the mental game of professional bass fishing is extremely important. I think being in physical shape is very important too, because I remember going to the Classic years ago and watching the late, great Aaron Martins go for a five-mile run the night before the Classic started. And I thought he was crazy. But he knew that he needed to do that to stay in shape so that he could fish better. And I recently watched a podcast, Bass After Dark, and Mark Jeffries is on there with Cousin Ken, and he's talked about how professional fishing is one of the only sports you don't have to pay to watch, just like poker. You can walk into the tournament and sit on the stands and, and watch for free because it's a pay-to-play hobby. That's what bass fishing is, too. And my last one is, do you think bass fishing is a, a sport or a hobby? Is professional eating a sport or a hobby? I mean, it still takes the physical part of it and the mental part of it. But is it a hobby? Is it a sport? And I think we have to get over what we believe it is and just come to the conclusion that yes, these guys bust their ass, work hard, and do great. Is it really a sport? Now, I do believe most of these guys are athletes. And if you're an athlete, you're playing a sport. I understand that. But I think these guys know what it takes and physically and mentally year round. And they keep themselves in the best shape that they can be. And my last point is, if it was a, is it a sport or a hobby is, when do you get to see spectators and fans get on the field with professional sports? It doesn't happen. It does happen on, the, on bass fishing. You can have a boat and follow your favorite angler around and watch him as he competes. This doesn't happen anytime in any real sport. You don't get on the field with the athletes. And I do believe the anglers are athletes. I think they keep themselves in really good shape. But does that mean bass fishing is a hobby or a sport? And I have to read this, and I had to look it up, but it said, fishing is just one more in a long line of recreational hobbies that is also considered a sport. So is it a hobby before a sport? That's what I want you to tell me. So you comment below and tell me, is it a hobby, is it a sport? I do think that we need to get rid of pay to, pay to play. I really do think. I think that if we got rid of that, I think it changes the dynamic of professional fishing all the way through. And I would like to see someone do that. I have respected MLF for doing it the first couple seasons of the Bass Pro Tour, but then they had to go back. I would like to see that we have these anglers competing without paying every time they go into a tournament at the highest level. If it's the lower levels, it's perfectly fine because they're building their way to get to that next level. But at the top level, the elite and the BPT, I'd like to see no pay to play. And I think at that point in time, we can then start talking about professional bass fishing being a sport and not a high stakes game, game of gambling and a hobby. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for everything. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.